Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Our videos primarily focus on my life as an antique dealer, but today we're going to focus on one of the RV parks that we had the pleasure of being at this last winter. So let's take a look. This is the RV park that we stayed at when we first got to Florida in Webster, Florida. Very nice. We got a promotional deal for a three-night stay. It was unbelievable. So uh, definitely was a cool place. We're going to give you a little tour of it. Here's the office when you first come in. This is a fairly new RV park. That's why we were able to get a promotional deal. But well worth the stay. Very nice. This RV park has 570 sites and it has lots of amenities. And it's kind of located in amongst of several ranches in the area. So it, it's just a beautiful area to be in. And it was so nice to ride my bike. We've been in Michigan all winter and not being able to do anything, but the weather was perfect. And this was just a wonderful place to start our vacation with. So here we are coming into the park. We have all these beautiful trees with all the moss hanging. And I'll show you where our campsite is. Mainly campers here. I did see one permanent structure but mainly campers, it looks like to me. And a lot of the people stay here six months or longer and they have sheds at their campsites. This is a pretty entrance to come in here. I'm riding my bike right now, so hopefully it's not too shaky. <laughs> it's a good place to ride your bike, so if you come here, make sure you bring a bike. And I'll show you where the Kodiak is. It's right up here. All sorts of campers and motorhomes. And here's our Kodiak and our truck, ready to be filled with junk when we go to all the flea markets. So we're going to take you for a little tour around the park and we're on our bikes because it feels so good to be on a bike again. Um, this is uh, has lots of amenities at this RV park. There's a dog wash. There's places for your dogs to run. They have lots of sports things that you can do in a clubhouse. And we'll be seeing all those things real soon here. And then they also have a peel boxes right on the premises, which is really nice and convenient if you're going to be there for a while. And they have some bathhouses that are really nice because there's individual bathrooms there. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and hit the like button. And here's some more areas that we're going to tour around. The people here are, seem to be so friendly. And everybody's out walking and on their golf carts and riding bikes and whatever they have to get around. <laughs> it's pretty nice. But for us, it was a really nice break from the winter, and we really enjoyed staying here. And we're coming up to the clubhouse right now, and I'm going to take you, give you a little peek inside of there so you can see what they have. They have lots of activities, I think, pretty much every night. They got something going on, or at least some food trucks coming in, or something every day. So there's lots to do. You don't ever have to leave this place if you want to. You can just stay here and enjoy all the festivities. Here's what looks like to me is a clubhouse. We're going to go take a look here. And there's all kinds of activities at this place. They have schedules posted all over the place. I'll give you a little idea what the activities are. And here's a little peek inside the clubhouse. This was a really pretty building. Everything's very new here and taken care of very well. And uh, just a great place to be. If you need a break from the winter. And here's the pool side. They have a heated pool and a jacuzzi and we were in that heated pool for a lot of time. And here's the laundry area. Lots of machines. And like I said, people were so friendly here. Um, I actually met um, a police officer from New York while I was pl playing with the dogs in the dog park. It was kind of cool. So lots of nice people and a, a nice place to be. And here's an overview of the clubhouse. And they have like pickleball and shuffleboard 
and uh, all those types of activities that you like. And they have a pickleball pro even on uh, duty that you can uh, consult with. So they, they really have a lot of nice, neat things for you to do to keep you active. So here we are traveling around on our bikes to show you the area in and around the park. And the, the park, like I said, is kind of centered around um, farmland and uh, lots of pastures with animals in it. And I love that because I'm an animal kind of gal. So if I had a choice of coming back, I would definitely want one of these lots where I could butt up and look at the cows and the horses and, and all the animals every day because uh, I so enjoy that. But uh, yeah, there was a little pond in the back here. And um, apparently there's not been any alligators that anybody's seen, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but uh, lots of cows, and here they all are. I enjoy that because I'm from farmland ourselves, so it's nice to see it, especially when it's warm out again. And this little path here we found, and this little path takes you to a park, and then you can go right to town if you wanted to with your bikes and whatnot. So that was kind of a neat thing to find. And here's some more of us riding around the park. There was lots of riding around you could do. You could really get some good exercise in, and, uh, and it was fun. So this was the only one permanent that we saw. Um, other than that, it was pretty much all campers and, and motorhomes and things of that nature. And uh, we're going around the circle here. And um, it was pretty full when we were there, but um, it was around March. Here's a map of all the sites in this campground. And the best part about all of it is you're right by the Webster Flea Market. And that's the main reason we were there, because we were going to do some junking at that Webster Flea Market. It's one of my favorite flea markets to go to. And we have a whole separate YouTube on that if you're interested in that and some of the things that we found there. But that is a great flea market, and it's on Mondays of every week. So this is Lou from Lou's Antiques saying goodbye, and we'll see you again.